Good morning and welcome to today's Hangout as we begin a brand new series, one where we think about the stories of Jesus. These amazing stories that Jesus told that are still known as the, the best stories that anyone's ever told. They're so good, they're so memorable, and for many of them, they're familiar. But what I love about these stories, and this is why I've got a picture of a door there, is that uh, it's like there's someone knocking on our door. And we open the door, and, and we're fascinated by what they're saying. We, we, we love what they're saying. We're entertained by what they're saying. And then sneaking in around the back is Mr. Truth or Miss Message. <laughs> Someone with a message that speaks into our hearts and we didn't notice it sneaking up and changing our hearts as we were being entertained at the front door. So here's a challenge. 40 seconds to see how many doors you can touch. See if you can touch over 20. Might be cupboard doors, might be uh, wardrobe doors, bedroom doors, any doors that you can touch. How many in 40, in 40 seconds? Okay, go. <laughs> story that Jesus told, this one that we're thinking of, uh, involved a, a goodie and a baddie. When the listeners first heard it, they would have thought, oh, we love good stories, stories about goodies and baddies. The goodies are the, the Jewish people, the priests, they're good people. The baddies, well, they're those Samaritans that live over there, that land that we don't go near, we go round because they're all bad. They don't like us and we don't like them. <sighs> Those Samaritans, bad, and they were, if one of them was in the story, he must have been a baddie. And the Jewish people, they would have been goodies. But Jesus doesn't tell normal stories. He told a story when the goodie was the Samaritan. Wow. So let's listen to the story. An expert in the law of Moses stood up and asked Jesus a question to see what he would say. What must I do to have eternal life? Or what is written in the scriptures? The scriptures say, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength and mind. They also say, love your neighbour as much as you love yourself. You are given the right answer. If you do this, you will have eternal life. But the man wanted to show that he knew what he was talking about. Who are my neighbours? Jesus answered by telling this story. The man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Robbers attacked him and grabbed everything he had. They beat him up and ran off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, but when he saw the man, he walked past on the other side. Later, a temple helper came to the same place. But when he saw the man who had been beaten up, he also went past on the other side. A man from Samaria then came travelling along that road. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him and went over to him. He treated his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put him on his own donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next morning, gave the innkeeper two silver coins and said, 
please take care of the man. If you spend more than this on him, I will pay you when I return. Which of these three people was a real neighbour to the man who was beaten up by robbers? The one who showed pity? Go and do the same. What a great story that Jesus told. I wonder why those two people went past and didn't help. I wonder whether the first one thought, well, I, I don't know what clothes he was wearing, so I don't know whether he's one of us or, or, or someone else. He's, he's not speaking, so I don't know if he's one of us or someone else. I'm, I'm, I'm busy, so I haven't really got time to stop. I'm, I'm important and this man might not be. It's all sorts of excuses he had not to help. That's the second one. Looked and thought, oh, that first one didn't stop. So I'm not gonna stop. Just copied someone else. But the Samaritan, he stopped, cared, and treated the person injured as he wanted to be treated himself. <laughs> he did to others what he wanted them to do to him. Amazing story that Jesus told. I wonder what truth has gone into your heart today. Is it that we can make excuses? Is it that we sometimes just follow other people's bad example? Or is it that we need to do to others what we would like them to do to us? No matter how much it costs us. The challenge today is to uh, make a door. Maybe uh, create a wall of some kind out of cardboard or whatever it might be and create a door in it and decorate it and then have put through that door the message from the Good Samaritan. What is it that you want him to say to you today? And we'll see you Thursday live at five.